My God, why did I do this? <clears throat> Pumpkin season's coming and I gotta get some things done. Patch is pretty much ready to go, at least as far as dirt goes. I gotta do some structure work. But today I'm gonna build, uh, it's, a, it's a cold frame, a hoop house, but it's not. It's gonna be shaped like a pyramid, a three-sided pyramid, which is called a tetrahedron. And I picked this because I'm a glutton for punishment and it's gonna be pretty ridiculous to build it, I think. But as far as the shape of the plant and the shape of the walls, it should be the best <clears throat> fit for what I gotta do. You gotta be able to open the walls automatically. And if you have big square walls, it's more weight, more things to deal with. I think this is the best, the best option. All right. So the gist of it is 16 foot equilateral triangle, 16 foot all three sides, and then a structure on top of that that won't be equal but will be useful. However, I need to build it to make it work. All right, so I'm gonna pinwheel these. I'm gonna butt this up to the one that we only have to cut a 30 degree angle on one side. The other side is square and I leave it long just so I have something to stake down later. I made a mark in there, if you can see that. It's not 16 feet, uh, it's inch and 5 eighths shorter than 16 feet because this triangle needs to continue out and 16 needs to be right at the point of where those two outside edges would meet. So now we're gonna Base is done. Had a heck of a time with that corner. Both boards were warped and rotten, kind of crappy. But I got squared up, triangled up. I don't know what the word is, but it's it's it is equal now, lateral, equilateral. So now it's time to build the sides. And uh, actually, it's time to build the rib, the main rib to hold this, and then I'll do the sides.
see it. Linear actuator, 30 inch extension, 100 and 900 newton capacity, which I think is 230 pounds, 130 pounds, 230, I don't remember. Plenty. Comes with the brackets. See, the whole idea for this <coughs> is that this is going to be the opener. And these walls, two of them, will swing open like this. So they're real light. I'll use this. And I'll mount it underneath that the rib. It'll have two pipes coming off of it to push them out. Auto work beautifully. Bring our actuator over. Comes with this handy dandy little pin. open. <clears throat> I got these two plates, these two arms that I made. I smashed one end and the other end's normal except for this one has a beveled end because the top of this is real close to the bolt so it's the close one has to have a bevel. And then we go to this one. There's my other pair of glasses. This baby's done. Not done, but I got the linkage hooked up here. It's hooked to that. I gotta do some brackets and whatnot, and I'm gonna do a cable so that when they're when the flaps are all the way open, the wind can't push one side. Because this thing is kind of loose when it gets up in the air. You'll see. Cool thing about this, and I haven't figured out if I'm gonna be able to keep this functionality or not, but it comes with a remote and a power unit and it's got up down. Well, I'm gonna do this all automatic with uh, thermostats and whatnot, but I wanna do a parallel setup in there without getting too carried away with relays and everything so that I can still utilize this if I need to. Time will tell, but it's great for testing it. So let's see how it looks. All right, here we go. Check it, make sure it's not getting bound up because the angles change as this thing comes up. This one looks like I might have a problem. Maybe not. When I push on this wall, thing really, that thing's not made to take side load. That's kind of worrisome, but I got a bracket idea that I can put on there, I think, and it'll keep it centered. And the only problem is when it's when it's all the way up, I put the cables on there, they'll keep it real tight, but it's the transition from being down to up that's, that's most vulnerable. So there it is. 
it's going to be open quite a bit when it's fully extended. Should get plenty of airflow because it's open all the way down to the corners here. The other nice thing is this this one right here opens as well. I, I got to brace this first, but when I need to get in here, I'll just open this up and lay it down and be able to climb in on both the linkage and open the sidewalls up. And the only thing I got to deal with is the main rib going over the top. So that'll be fantastic. Should really help. I just got to cover it in plastic, get a few little touch up things done and it's ready to move out to the patch as soon as the patch is ready. Oh, and by the way, put a link to where I got these actuators, got them on Amazon. They have all different lengths. These were, I think 140 bucks for the pair with all the control unit and everything. But I'm having to do the temperature control unit myself. So that didn't come with it. This is just the manual with the remote. Alright, so the camera died, but I got this, uh, one of these deals covered in plastic, and it said it was supposed to be clear plastic, but it, I can't even see through it. So I laid it down over some weeds, and we're going to see how, uh, see if they start turning yellow after a few days. It might get enough sun through there, it'd be all right. But if not, it's gonna suck because I bought a big old roll of that stuff. And it was kind of pricey. I'm gonna get the control unit finished up, put in there, and we'll go from there.